Hello, I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Tina Stein. The man accused of arson and carrying explosives into a McDonald's in North Green River Road last week. Back in court today, 25 year old Caleb Loving appeared in Vandenberg County Circuit Court for his initial hearing. Loving's charged with possessing an explosive arson and criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon, all felonies. He's also charged with giving false information, which is a misdemeanor. Police say when they first confronted Loving, he tried to give them a fake name. Loving's bond remains at $500,000 cash only. He's not allowed to have firearms and he's not allowed on McDonald's property. Newly released numbers show the Evansville Police Department seizing illegally possessed guns at a pace like never before. In 2012, the department seized 245 illegal guns, which equals about one every 35 hours. That's when the department started noticing a rising gun and gang problem. Well, through April of this year, the most current stats show EPD seized 175 illegal guns, or one every 22 hours. EPD says these numbers are a product of a more concerted effort to curb street crime and also an increase in street crime. In addition to increased enforcement, Sergeant Cullum says EPD has also tried to engage the community through inner city churches, neighborhood groups, and education. EPD says they are noticing younger people illegally possessing guns. For example, last year there were 25 people under the age of 17 found to be in possession of an illegal gun. Eyewitness news on the scene of a house fire in Henderson happened on Adams Street just after 12 between 5th and 6th Streets. The woman who lives there called 911 when she found her window broken. Inside, she says she saw her curtains on fire. The flames apparently spread to the attic of the home. Firefighters were able to tackle the flames fairly quickly, but with it being so muggy outside, crews had to take several breaks to cool down. Still no official word how the fire started. Investigators are looking into that. And for crews who have to work outdoors, finally, some relief on the That's way. That's right. As far as this heat uh, wave is uh, concerned, enough already. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. See you soon, Wayne. If you attended Shriners Fest this year, you helped make it the most successful one yet. That according to the Shriners today, they say about 100,000 people attended the four-day downtown event. Now, Shriners won't reveal how much money they raised, but say they made more than ever before and can even set aside cash for next year's festival. The Shriners say they're already working on Shriners Fest 2016 and looking for ways to make it even better. Two million people utilize Met's service every year in Evansville. And with an aging fleet of 27 buses, many say it's time for some changes. Tonight, results of a study focusing on overhauling the system will be revealed to the public. Mayor Lloyd Winicky says his number one priority is adding Sunday service. While the move is expected to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, he says that's the biggest complaint among riders, having no way to get around on Sundays. There are 30 potential changes on the table. They'll be discussed tonight at the CK Newsom Center. That meeting is open to the public. It starts at 530. From our Western Kentucky Bureau, a new chapter for an historic distillery in Owensboro. A groundbreaking scheduled for tomorrow morning at the Old Charles Medley Distillery just off 2nd Street. The Terra Sencha Corporation bought the distillery last spring. Company officials say they'll make its own bourbon starting late next year with sales expected to start in 2017. Workers have been modernizing equipment and electrical systems which haven't been used since the early 1990s. A woman standing up for women. Amy Brunton, a tri-state cancer survivor, is speaking out for others. She heard of the latest proposal regarding breast cancer screening guidelines and was shocked that experts would push to change the recommendations that saved her life. Eyewitness News' Shelly Kirk will tell you what those proposed changes are and what Amy's doing about it tonight on Thank You Tri-State on Eyewitness News at 10.